right, uh, three and zero. Oh. On to the final round. I like it when my opponents call me lucky because reminds me I am lucky, and it's good to remember that sometimes. We are lucky. It's good to think of yourself as a lucky person too. I think. All right, Elspeth on top. I think we don't want that at this point. Would much rather dig for Rev. Or something relevant like Dissolve. And just go ahead and play this so we can have Dissolve up. Uh, don't want the new vault. Keep digging for relevant things. Like a rev. And keep dissolve up since I don't really need to scry, even though syncopate should be able to get most of the things. And go ahead and last breath that since he can't get the land yet. Alright, Nita Vault's a good draw at this point now that we've found our rev. Question is, do we want Hallowed found as well? I'd say no. rather uh, dig for like another rev or a land off the top's fine but we don't want too many it's not bad Like our opponent doesn't have much action, or is not playing it. No point in revving yet, since we aren't under any pressure. Tension sphere might not be that useful if he has abrupt decays. All right, thoughtsies, go ahead and dissolve this. And island. So I think we don't want that still. Since our rev isn't even guaranteed to be in our hand at that point. And go ahead and syncopate. There's a land. Anyways, scry into Supreme, do not want. Just continuing to dig closer to our next rev. We already have a decent number of answers. Hopefully, he doesn't have another Thoughtseize, which he does. That's unfortunate. Looks like we have to rev here. I guess we didn't need to rev, but I think it's worth it since there's not really anything he can resolve that's too threatening. Takes the dissolve and just gets in with me vault. So thankfully he doesn't have a connection, so otherwise could have got us there. It's 
this hand should be good enough to buy us time until we do find another rev. It's not attacking. Alright. Scryland better than non Scryland. Don't want that. All right, he is going to get in. And I see no reason to run our Muta Vault into his removal spell at this point. And there's a rev. Should be enough to close out the game. That's the payoff for all the aggressive scrying, I suppose. See what we got. All right, not 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 too shabby. Didn't find another rev, but basically have all the fixins to. Uh, deal with everything he has for days and days. Let's get rid of the land and probably the tension sphere. Since we can assume he's Stuck with a pile of abrupt decays. Okay, Courser plays a land first, which means I'm fine letting it resolve. Just last breath that now. Might as well on draw step to see what he has coming. Or actually we have to discard, so let's just do it now. Go ahead and see what removal he has. All right, that is acceptable. And just charm it. And let that happen. And go ahead and wrath. I suppose I could have saved the last breath for Muta Vault, but the odds of the Muta Vault killing us are so low. I guess you could go multiple Muta Vaults, so yeah, I should have saved the last breath for the Muta Vault. 
and just wrath the way the Corsair and then wrath the way the pack rat. Or actually should have syncopated the Corsair probably. Just go ahead and uh, dissolve. Elspeth should get the job done. Should have actually supremed that, but since this all answers everything. He likely has a downfall here. Okay. Jace. Always happy to see Jace. Jace into Jace. Jace for days. And go ahead and Swing with two of them. Hoping that he activates so we can Azorius Charm and give him one last draw step to find something like Underworld Connections. Alright, uh, Demon doesn't really matter. Go ahead and charm this. So he's not drawing anything good next turn. And all these Jaces should be able to find us a rev to close things out with. Go ahead and attack for two, even though it's not that relevant, and then Wrath. Has any Golgari charms? Right, just take another Jace. I can assume he's just new to vault in here. Maybe here was downfall on that. Minus. Um, sure, just take the dissolve. And can start plussing.
this point it's basically completely locked up. Go ahead and uh, rev for a bit. We don't really care if he downfalls that. Elspeth. Discard some crap. Pack rat is fine. I actually kind of want to see if he has abrupt decay, so I'm going to detention sphere that and see if he'll abrupt decay and then make a bunch of rats. Jason Alt. Yeah, he does have a broke decay. So he gets to make some rats. Which can't possibly stop me. Jump, jump, jump. Then we'll start by ulting Jace and see if he lets us see his deck. It's going to concede. That's what it takes to get the concession. Is to give up a little info. Alright, so plan. Plan is to. I broke the case of beating, but kind of just have to keep everything in and override it. Along with Golgari Charm. This is Probably not a good matchup. One of the worst. I think I'm just going to try keeping in all the value cards, all the high value things, and just Hope to overwhelm him with good stuff at some point while we're trading back and forth about decays and pithy needles. It's really bad if he resolves underworld connections, though.
maybe just yeah, cut a verdict since he'll have Golgari charms anyways. Let's try this out. Right, he is mulliganed. That is good. We will keep. Thoughtsies. This is a good hand against Thoughtsies. And it's good that he mulliganed. He's already down to four cards. Takes the dissolve. Scry. Any land, it does the job. Scavenge news is not threatening. Definitely keeping that. Perfect. Perfect land that isn't basic island. Let's go ahead and uh, play this with the intention of Azorius charming that and landing Jace. See if the plan works. Nope. He is savvy because he knows about the charm. Okay. Erebos, so he must. Probably has an abrupt decay. So we might want to cycle the charm here. Yeah, I think so. Since he knows about it. And we might need another D spear. So his likely play is. He doesn't have it. I think we're just going to go Big Jace and draw a card since he can't kill it with just the creatures. Still could have Abrupt Decay easily and is waiting on it. Don't really see any other good options though. Uh, I guess we're gonna mill ourselves so we're less likely to hit a creature. And by less likely, I mean we have no creatures. Wow, he does not have it. It's unexpected. I guess our opponents are right. We're we're the lucky ones and they're the unlucky ones. Gets our red and comes in at Jace. It's like a divination that gains me six life. Best divination ever. Puts it on top. We're, we're obviously getting rid of it for him. It's also good against Scries. Okay, there was the rest. And go ahead and try and protect. Jace by verdicting and 
I believe in that real vault. And to a lesser extent, a much lesser extent, syncopate. This game's looking good. He doesn't have his detention sphere mess withers. I think that's what they're called. Mess withers. Right, thought he's not the scariest card at this point. We might leave it on top for him with Jace. Obviously, doing this. So, Thoughtseize for him. I think we just let him have it. He takes Syncopate, and I'm fine with that. Or he takes rev. So that means I will be revving when he thought seizes me. And then there's a downfall. Three lands. Not too bad though. Alright, takes a chase. Interesting. A mutavolts will be able to gang up on the courser. And we're gonna mill the thoughtsies. Or the downfall. Ooh, connections. Alright. That's annoying. And another connections is also annoying. We're still ahead though. Alright, I think it's definitely worth it to uh, try and double block here. Since Connections Courser is a pain in the butt and it saves our Jace. It's kind of a misplay from him. He should have played his Connections and seen if I Let's see if I syncopate it first. So he's going to get to draw his second connection before we can mill it with Jace. And there's a ref. Actually, should have just. No, I, I think this is fine since three loyalty is good. But we already have a lot of cards. So starting to mill him is actually a lot of value. Let's see if he wants to play the second connections. Then we can de-sphere them after revving. It's gonna swing at the memory adapt. We will take the bait and go ahead and rev now. 
Why don't we get the Muta Vault mana? Another option is not revving. I think we might as well since there's not really anything we want to counter. Possibly Vraska would be something, but I'm saving the second connections. Go ahead and pithy needle forest, and then uh, hmm. can leave up syncopate and mill him, is I think what the plan is. Plays a land, we can't counter the connections though fully. So I think we'll let it resolve and then de sphere it. Chase is gonna kill him anyways if we just counter any hero's downfalls or Vraska's. Actually, just gonna counter it. Can dig for a dissolve instead, or another syncopate. So can I think just leaving up syncopate is the best option since one more mill basically locks them out. Alright, need the land untapped to counter hero's downfall. Go ahead and draw your cards. It will be your doom. All right, demon. Demon, we will allow. I think we can deal with a demon in four cards. Connections are officially the worst thing in the world. And go ahead and bottom that. Leave up Dissolve and Syncopate, and he is Scott Rude. Concede. Nobody ever concedes anymore. Okay. At least he didn't berate us. Alright, 4-0, the deck was sweet. Awesome. Um, 
made a few misplays here and there, and I think our opponents let us, uh, they were generally open and honest with their feelings, but we had some fun. Deck was, deck was good. I recommend it.